With 2023 behind us, 2024 is also looking good for video games. So it's time to talk about my five most anticipated games of 2024. So as always, if you guys have any of these on your list, let me know down below. And if you don't, let me know what makes your list and why, because as always, we're not all the same and we're all gonna have different opinions. So let's get to my top five, starting with number five. Warhammer 40K Space Marine 2. The original Space Marine is like a decade old now. It's a great game. Warhammer is a universe I know the basics of. I've played about 15 of their games. I've never done the miniatures, but I love this world, and I love that it's a sequel to Space Marine. So the more you can give me from this universe that's brutal, that just puts me in the shoes of a Space Marine, and it's not an RTS, and don't get me wrong, I love real-time strategy, Warhammer games, but sometimes you want to change that up with action. Space Marine 2 looks like it's going to deliver on all fronts. I was disappointed it was delayed from last year, but more polish time is good for fans, so bring on the Space Marines. Now, on the completely opposite side of that, we're going to Earth, we're going to Chernobyl, we're going to the Excursion Zone with Stalker 2. The original Stalker is a game that I'm the only person that pre-ordered at my local EB Games. They got one copy, it was mine. I came home that day, installed it. All the discs, back when Steam wasn't even really a big thing, was still in its infancy and people were like, ooh, none of that. Installed it, jumped in. That's where my love for post-apocalyptic things really cemented itself. I like the Fallout games. Fallout 2 is peak. Fallout 3 is great. But Stalker is different. This is one of those games where you need to learn everything. Each gun handles differently. There's a sense of weight and realism. There's a sense of I don't know what's going on. And that's exactly how it would be if you go to the excursion zone. This game is so good and big. Looks to improve everything, including the survival horror aspects. On top of this, the game spawned a whole culture of stalkers that actually stalk and go to the excursion zone and cosplay. Now this game is based on Roadside Picnic, which is an old book and movie, so it's loosely adapting that and doing its own thing, but it does things so well. Stalker 2 looks like it's gonna improve everything. Unfortunately, the game's been delayed multiple times because of the situation between Ukraine and Russia as the developers are Ukrainian, but hopefully this year they can put it out and honestly put out a game to one of my favorite franchises I never thought would be returning. I love the other games too. I think Clear Sky was severely underrated, but hey, it is what it is and Stalker 2 is on my list and hopefully more people will take a look at it and find something interesting in it. Number two, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2. Again, I got it tattooed on me. I love vampires. I love that whole subculture. Vampire the Masquerade is one of those things that from the outside, you look at it, it's super nerdy. It's essentially Dungeons and Dragons vampires. Yeah, I know what you're thinking, but the game, the first Bloodlines, is one of these RPGs where there's so many things to do and it's so open-ended and how you tackle scenarios is just one of those things that many games today do not do right. And this game is promising to be a sequel. Now, I have my doubts. It's coming almost 20 plus years after. So yeah, we're all gonna be skeptical. But if they can get the basics down, put us into a story, Tell us a great plot about vampires that are hiding out, trying to hide from society and survive and put the politics at the forefront and let us role play whatever character we want from the most disgusting vampires, the Nosferatus, or maybe even the Gangrels, I don't know, to the best, uh, obviously the Toreadors. This game has my name written all over it. I need this to be a hit. So I hope it's good. I hope we see more and I cannot wait to get my hands on this. And number one, is Star Wars Outlaws. This looks like it's the game I always wanted. When I talked about my favorite games of the year, I brought up how I love Hogwarts Legacy and how we need a Star Wars game like that. This looks like that game where it's truly gonna be about living in that world for the first time. Not just get here, A to B, done. There seems to be more going on here from space combat to on foot combat to clearly a great plot that's going to unfold and tie into everything that's going on during Star Wars during that time period. There's so many things in this and not to mention it looks like one of the most beautiful games we've ever seen. Some people are still questioning whether that's gameplay 
but that's massive. They just put out the amazing Avatar game, which looks in some scenes as good as the film. They are gonna nail this, I have a feeling. And again, Star Wars is one of my favorite franchises of all time. So getting a game that's gonna include multiple planets, space travel, the ability for me to do my own smuggling and things like that. And since Han Solo is my favorite male Star Wars character, this is that fantasy you're just playing as a girl, which I don't mind since my favorite Star Wars character is female anyway. There's a chance that this game could end up being my game of the year if it delivers. But if Ubisoft delays it because they need it to be good, please take your time because I do not want what looks to me to be the perfect Star Wars game that I always dreamed of to be subpar. So that's it, everybody. That is my most anticipated games of this year. What are yours? Do you agree with mine? Do you like mine? Have you discovered a game that maybe you've never heard about? You can let me know down below, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video.